and welcome to another year in the Googleverse. I thought before we began, before anything else starts, before any assignments are doled out, we would start with the basics. I know this is review for some, but some of the tools on our belt this year are brand new. So let's get started. First up, the tool belt. This is where all other tools reside. It's sturdy, resilient, functional. This year it adds a new function in that the grades on Google Classroom will now be linked to school tool. So there is a one-to-one -one communication between the two platforms. Before we even put on the belt, let's make sure that everything is ready. And part of that readiness comes from the inbox. Now I don't know about you, but I hate my messy inbox. Here I have notifications for Open Denim, who's going to be our stand-in for all of you. But what we're looking at right now is Open Denim's only in one class. Open Denim has a full inbox, and if this is a day-to-day -day thing for him with multiple classes, his inbox by the end of the day is maybe going to have 50 or more emails for notifications, for assignments, things that are posted to the stream, etc. So the first thing Denim's going to do before he even cinches up his belt, he is going to make sure he goes to his Google Verse class, selects the drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner, finds settings. Under settings, he goes to notifications. Once there, he looks for class notifications, finds the class he wants to select, and clicks it off before heading back to the Googleverse. This will ensure that his inbox is not going to be a cluttered mess. But Denim is a self-reliant student. Whether he's at home or at school, he knows that he's going to have to put on the belt at the beginning of every day and find the tool that he needs for that day. So he's going to make sure that he goes to Google Classroom having the belt cinched on. Next up, the stream. Now we've talked a lot about this this year and the stream for us is going to be clear, clean mountain water. The stream will only ever have basic announcements from your teachers. So if I want to check for classwork, I'm going to have to go to classwork. The first two tools on our belt, Ms. Forms and Edward Puzzle, are the two you are most familiar with. Google Forms, Direct, offers a lot of options for thoughtful answers, YouTube videos, etc. Denim, seen here, goes through thoughtfully filling in his answers, both short and multiple, before hitting Submit and reviewing his answers. As Denim looks at his score, he realizes that 11 out of 20, while low right now, will go up when his teacher grades his thoughtful answers. In the meantime, he's going to mark the assignment as done, confirm the assignment as done, before moving on back into the Google verse and his next assignment. Before we get to Edward Puzzle, we're going to visit Miss Form's cousin, Miss Google Docs. Denim's going to go on and find he has a writing assignment. He's going to thoughtfully read the prompt, type out his answer, spell check it, make sure everything is in order before giving it a thumbs up, puts in his name into the field, and turns it in. But wait, on the teacher's side, Denim hasn't actually turned it in on his assignment section. So it still is marked as assigned and not actually done. Back on Denim's Chromie, he's going to make sure he goes to the assignment, hits turn in, confirms that he wants to turn in the assignment, and then it will be marked as turned in. It'll have the unsubmit there on the teacher side. This is what they will see. It is now officially turned in and can be graded. Recap, because this is very important and will save a lot of frustration down the road. Only hitting turned in on the document is unequal to actually being turned in. Make sure you turn it in on the assignment section 
Your document will then change and have request edit access. You now patiently wait for the teacher to grade your assignment before access is given back to you. The next tool, Edward Puzzle. Pretty straightforward, the screwdriver of learning. Denim scene here, again, thoughtfully going through, watching the video, putting in his information, going through it question by question, contemplating his answers, checking his responses, doggedly or donkily going through and making sure that he has the best possible answers. Again, Denim's going to review his answer. Notice his 8 out of 15 still has a lot to be graded. He'll patiently await the teacher to do so, mark his assignment as done, and move back in to the Googleverse. A new tool on our belts for this year, Nearpod, will allow some interactivity for those at school or at home. Make sure when you log on, you log on as yourself. Go through the slides at your own pace, if you're at home or at the pace of the class. Take your time with the activities. Really use this as an opportunity for your learning. Make sure as you go through the quizzes that you check your answers. Some may have more than one, so make sure you read the directions. And then submit, check your scores, and of course, as usual, mark is done. Another tool on our belt, Newzella, will bend and flex your preconceived ideas and biases. Denim navigates effortlessly through the document using the read feature, reads through to the bottom, makes sure to know the article, takes the quiz, goes to paragraphs that are mentioned in questions before answering them, checks his answers, and when he's finished, marks it as done. The final tool in our belt, Common Lit, will tighten the nuts and bolts of your learning. You'll already have a pre-created account, be able to access it from your tool belt. Once you're there, you can modify the size of your font, select Read Aloud, and it will highlight the text that it is currently reading, and you can follow along. You can see it will jump down to various other paragraphs. You can select the numbers, which will tell you definitions for the word just before that. You'll notice portions of text are blocked out. Those require you to answer the guiding questions for that particular section. You need to make sure that you've read the section to fully understand that. It will then unlock the next portion, and as you answer those questions, unlock the portion below that. Longer text will have more guiding questions. Then you'll be led to the assessment questions. Notice how in the next question, question four, it refers you back to various paragraphs. By selecting the paragraph number, it will take you to that part of the text so that you can better answer the question. Long answers, of course, require you to save that, submit your assignment, before going back and marking your assignment as done on your tool belt. Another nice bonus feature of Common Lit is it has a translate feature seen here in green. Click on the translate and then select the green world dots to the left of the text to get a translated version of that text. You can also select additional languages. To hide it, simply click back on hide translate and it will move back into its normal form. One last bonus feature is if you have a text and a video and you would like to watch both at the same time. Open the text, seventh grade, select the video, and it should open in another tab. Next, select the double boxes to the right. Click on that to minimize your screen. Select the video to place. Again, select the box and right arrow click it so that it sets it to the right side of the screen. Repeat the process for the left side box by clicking on the box and hitting the left arrow and you have your 
split screen set. When you're ready, hit the play button on the video and sit back, enjoy the reading as you read along with the story on your other screen. So this has been a look at some of the common tools we'll be using on our tool belts this year. Hopefully this review will help you with some of the earlier tools and introduce some of the newer ones we will use throughout the year. See you in the Googleverse and welcome to 7th grade.